so today we will just start with the basics of fluid mechanics or fluids rather we can broadly classify the area of fluids in our uh, discussion in four parts the first part being the archimedes principle the second part being the bernoulli's theorem the third part is surface tension and the fourth part is viscosity we will be dealing with each part separately and also solve problems pertaining to one part individually beginning with archimedes principle for the time Archimedes principle follows one simple concept The concept being the pressure exerted by a fluid or in our discussion because we will be dealing with liquids mostly the pressure exerted by a fluid of height h say we have a fluid element of height h the height h will be exerting a pressure of rho which is the density of the fluid or the liquid g is the acceleration due to gravity and h being the height of that fluid column so the pressure exerted due to the height of a fluid column is rho g h this is the basic concept that we will be following in describing what archimedes principle is let's say we have a container and it is filled by some liquid we have a block of solid immersed in this liquid this block has a cross sectional area of a the height of this block is h this block is immersed in this fluid to a depth of say h1 the density of this block is say rho s and the density of this liquid is rho l because there is atmosphere outside let's say this is in our normal atmosphere in a normal atmospheric condition which has or which exerts a pressure of say p atm if we consider the block separately the pressure exerted by the top or on the top rather will be p atm plus the pressure due to the liquid of this height which is rho l into g into h1 the pressure applied by the fluid on this block at the bottom surface will be 
ATM again plus rho L into G into this height plus this height of the body. This is in general the pressure on the top and bottom parts of the body. The block has the cross sectional area of A. So, if we consider the forces due to this or let us say first we consider the net pressure on this block in the transverse direction. The net pressure by the liquid is going to be let us say this quantity minus this quantity. Because we are considering the upward direction as positive, we will have this minus this. This gives us on simplification this. Now we know the net pressure on this block due to the liquid surrounding it in the transverse direction. This is upwards. However, we are considering the net pressure to be upwards, it is not so. We will be now considering forces which is directional. A pressure may not be assigned a direction because it is not a vector quantity. The force due to this liquid is going to be this pressure into the cross sectional area. because pressure is equal to force by area. This will give us this quantity. If we see this cross sectional area into the height is basically giving us the volume occupied by this solid body. So, we can write If we combine these two, the rho of the liquid or the density of the liquid into the volume of the solid, this will give us a quantity called mass. This mass, because we are considering the density of the liquid, is the mass of the liquid. So, let us say we write it as ml into g. This is basically our Archimedes principle, which is the volume or the mass of the liquid displaced by this body is basically the net force or up thrust on this solid body. This force is in the upward direction. You may note that this up thrust force can always be applied in the upward direction. That is why this is called up thrust or thrust in the upward direction. 